everyone welcome back to my channel and today I'm back in the kitchen because I have another cooking video that I'm going to do for you um, I found this recipe on Facebook now I've never made it before and I'm a little bit concerned because it's kind of a weird recipe but the ingredients that go into it looked really good so I thought well I'll give it a well all the ingredients that go into it are things that I like to eat I don't know how they're going to work out put all together like this but I thought that I would do it. So let me put my camera down over here and I'll show you all the ingredients. And the name of the recipe is called Three Ingredient Candy Cake. And I really, I really don't know why they called it three ingredients because it's actually four ingredients, which you're going to see here in a minute. It calls for two bags of these miniature size uh, candies, Mounds Candies. And you're supposed to chop them up into little bite-sized pieces, which I've done here. Two containers of Cool Whip. Now, the lady that made this, she actually used that uh, whipped cream that's in a can that you spray out. But she said you could use Cool Whip, too. So I went ahead and got the Cool Whip. A container of Coffee Mate uh, Creamer in the flavor Almond Joy. And two packages of Chips Ahoy cookies. And they need to be the original crunchy ones. Not the soft, chewy, or the ones with the big chunks in it. Just the original Chips Ahoy's. Now, she made hers in a spring form pan, which I do not have. But she said that you could also make it in a 9 by 13 cake pan. So that is what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to make it in the 9 by 13. Now what you need to do to start this off, here's where it gets weird. You take a bowl and your creamer and put your creamer in the bowl. No, I can't put that up there because... Show you what I'm doing here. I think that'll be enough to start. Then you're going to take your cookies and dip them in here and soak them till they get soft, and then we're going to lay them in the pan. I know it's strange, isn't it? <laughs> that's what the recipe calls for. So that's what I'm going to do if I can find a place to set my bowl. I have any kitchen space in this house. All right, you're going to take your cookies, which I just broke one. You're going to soak them in your coffee creamer till they get nice and moist. And I guess you can dunk them down in here like this, like I'm doing, because you got to wait till they get soft before you can put them in the pan. So... Just let them, it shouldn't take very long. You know, just put them down in there like this till they soak up the milk and get soft. I don't really know how soft they're supposed to be, but anyway. They're not getting very soft. Then you take your cookies out and you lay them in your pan. Isn't this the weirdest recipe you've ever seen? Put some more in here, let them soft. If you get some little pieces in there, it's okay because you can fill in the little gaps, you know, like spots like that. She, she said you can use the little crumbs to fill in spots. So we're just going to keep doing this. And then when I get the pan layered and completely covered, I'll come back and show you what you do next. Okay, I have my first layer of cookies in the pan. The next thing that you're going to put on there is your crunched your chopped up 
a mounds candy bar. So you can just sprinkle a layer of them on it. Okay, after you get a layer of candy on top of the cookies, then you're going to put your Cool Whip on top of that. So you move this down here. Here's how your first layer of Cool Wicks looks. Now, you're actually supposed to do this in three layers, but I can see right now I'm not going to have enough Cool Whip to do it, so I'm only going to do two. And probably the reason she was able to do three, because like I told you, she used one of those round pans, and they're not as big as this thing. So then you start doing the same thing over again. I'm going to put some more of the milk into the pan. and start softening the cookies up again for the next layer. I can see right now it takes a long time to put this recipe together. And here's your second layer of cookies. And then again, you're going to put some more of the candy on top of this. Now I have quite a bit of candy left, but you also put a candy on the top after you're finished. So this layer here, I'm going to put a little bit more than what I did on the first one. this little dab of candy here to put on the top. Here's the second layer of the candy. Now I'm going to put the, the last container of the Cool Whip on here. And here's the second layer of the Cool Whip. And like I said, this is supposed to be three layers, but since this is such a big pan, I only did two. I do know that if, if it turns out good and I decide to make it again, I'm going to buy four containers of the Cool Whip. Then you take the last little bit of candy and just sprinkle it on top for garnish. Then you put this in the freezer for like three or four hours or overnight. So that's what I'm going to do. And then when it gets finished, 
I will come back and we'll do a little sample of it and see if it's worth making again. So I'll see you guys probably tomorrow or in a few hours. Hello everyone, I'm back and as you can see the cake is now done. And one last final step of what you're supposed to do with it is uh, drizzle some chocolate syrup on it. So we're going to do that. Ain't a very good drizzle, is it? <laughs> I'm making a mess. All right, there's that. Now, I'm going to see if I can get some out. It's frozen pretty good, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out with a spoon like this or not. Try a little sample. Oh, it ain't too hard. It's not too bad. Well, look at that. I got the piece that don't even got no chocolate syrup on it. <laughs> okay. I bet it's going to be very, very cold. All right. Let me turn this up a little bit so we can see what it tastes like. Here's the... Oh, here I am. <laughs> a sampler now and see, what it, see if it's worth the money that I spent on it. Mm-hmm. It's definitely worth it. As I said, next time I make it, I will get four containers of Cool Whip because you're supposed to do three layers and I'll be able to get three layers off the next one. But yeah, oh, it tastes good. It's really, really good. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for coming and visiting with me. And y'all come back and see me any old time. Bye for this one.